Um, I've been performing for about four and a half years now. Um, and I work mainly in events and balls, weddings, anything you want really. Um, I work mainly with cards, but I also vary from coins to rope to fire, which everyone loves. It was once said about Vernon that um, what Einstein is to physics and what Darwin is to biology, um, Vernon is to card magic. And I think that's quite an interesting quote because every, every person that studies card magic, or a lot of magic in general, they study Vernon, and anyone who doesn't is kind of seen as why aren't you studying him, because this man was so important to, the, to, to magic. It's quite interesting how there is so much more to magic than most people really appreciate or see, because the average person never sees the sort of detail and work that goes into something as small as turning over a playing card. Whereas magicians obsess over these tiny little features, and there are so many ways of handling a pack of cards from very sort of flashy kind of things to very straight up, just with table shuffling. Now, there's a whole new art form cardistry, which is the art of sort of shuffling playing cards in a kind of mesmerizing way. One of the most interesting things I find about magic, and card magic especially, is you draw inspiration from the works of literally hundreds of other magicians over the centuries. Um, so when I first started, I saw a video of a man named Cardini, um, who would do stage manipulations, which is all this kind of stuff. Um, and he played this amazing character of a sort of English gentleman would have all these magical things happen, like cigarettes appearing out of thin air, and he always seemed quite irritated by it. It was like an amazing character for someone to play, and it was so entertaining. And back in back in the 20s and 30s when he was performing, um, he was a huge, huge name, and everyone was knew him. And there are other magicians who take sort of more um, comedic stance. So a man who recently passed away, Tom Mullica, who was very well known for a cigarette act where he would eat cigarettes and produce cars and all that kind of stuff. And it was hilarious to watch and really quite inspiring. But when you have so many people to draw from, so many other people working in this industry, there's so much sort of community where people share ideas and share tricks and effects and sites they've been working on for years. And, um, and it all helps sort of promote the art as a whole. So this is me performing on the streets with Film at Wonder. Um, enjoy. Okay, so we've collected this like rather large number together through all these editions. Um, let's try and see if this has got quite a weird because I don't know how to do significance. Could you want to get your phone out? Um, and can we dial in this number? I think if you add a zero first. Seven, seven, nine, one. Dial it. Dial it. Hello? 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 Oh, this one. Okay. This one. Be perfect. Can you have that card? Yes. Got that? That one? Okay, so what we'll do is we'll take that. You'll be sticking about halfway in the deck. Can you spell that for me? Push in. 
in. in. Sorry. In. Sorry. <laughs> no worries. Well, we'll just hit the two aces. Just take one on top, one on bottom. And one, two. One card is left in between. Fabulous. So one. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so yeah, much.